Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson Number 93. In this Xara Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 Software Tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to change the shape of your photos using the Shape Tool in our toolbar. And basically what that's going to allow you to do is to give your site a unique look by changing the presentation of your photos. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to the upper right hand corner of your screen to the Designs Gallery, lock that panel, click on the Page Elements folder, click on the Photos folder, and then click on Landscape Photos folder. Or you can click on the Portraits photo folder if you want to, the preference is up to you. And then go ahead and drag any picture into your workspace that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to pick this picture and then close out the Designs Gallery. And after that, we're going to go ahead and go to our Shape Tool in our toolbar here. And if you don't know what that looks like, this is what it looks like here, this particular image. Go ahead and left click on that. And what I want you to take notice of is that our cursor is going to change when we place it towards the edge of our photo. And you'll see that now. See how it looks when it's towards the edge of the photo? Well, when it looks like that, go ahead and double left click and drag and pull in on the image. And you notice that it changes the shape of the image. And if we were to grab this node here and drag it around, you'll see that it makes another shape, but you can't see it. And the way that you can see it is if you resize that fill tool and make it bigger, you'll now see the new shape that we created there. If we go back to our shape tool and make more adjustments, you'll see that it changes as we make those adjustments. So if you can't see the shape changes that are taking place, chances are you need to use the fill tool in your toolbar to increase the size of that image so that it stands out far enough to show the shape changes that we created. So let's go ahead and go back to our shape tool and continue to make some changes. And you can just kind of play around with it and you can also add nodes by just left clicking in an area around the edge of the photo and now if we make changes you'll see that it makes those changes around that node that we created. If I made a node on the right hand side of the photo and I clicked and dragged in you'll see that again it makes those changes around that node or selection point that I made on the edge of this photo. So really simple like if at the bottom maybe I wanted to make a node in the center again and then make changes there I can make those changes happen right around that node. And you can also delete nodes. Maybe you didn't want one of the nodes on there. You select it, hit delete, and it'll get rid of it completely. So the choice for the shape is totally up to you. And uh, I want to actually show you one of the shapes that I created and what I've done with that, with that tool, the shape tool to make my shapes for my photo. So let's take a look at that. You can see here that I've made this pretty unique shape for a photo. I've given, I've given it an outline stroke as well I've added some text above it and I wrote the words the great event held downtown sign up so you could even use this for event promotion maybe you, there's an image that's promoting an event you can have a sign up button that they click on to sign up and you can have the picture in the background 